flow. Just to Phoenix for that. Let's script it. I want to uh, talk about synchronicity. I realize that most of our familiar with synchronicity. Spiritualists refer to it as, well, of course, what it is, but also geometrically speaking. Geometrically is the terminology of the complex network, of course, involving whatever subject matter that might be, in this case, synchronicity. Synchronicity is based on nine and sixteen dimensions, leading up to nine, but not from nine to sixteen. It's an automatic quantification factor. The buildup from dimension one up to dimension nine with geometric spectrum and synchronicity, to say that a conversation weaves a path on its own, of course, where your points are in your conversation is a point of change in direction, the design, the networking of your of the conversation itself. You, this is a ex essential example because it also explains how you can go from one step, aka dimension one to nine, where all the, the the layering process of the network becomes compressed, also expands, recompresses. So to take the other example of, let's say, microscopically going close in on clothing, you see a weaving pattern. Well, you could almost look at it as, geometrically speaking, a weaving pattern making up the fabric of time and space around us itself. Now, synchronicity as far as dates, well, I want to go ahead and just um, and include the subject as well, 2009 is the most historic year of the most synchronicities to ever take place for a planet. Over 12 synchronicities occur on November 12th. Various include the newly discovered this year, Helix Nebula, the cosmic shift, which uh, as of February 5th, we enter the fifth dimension. Each synchronized date that synchronizes with the year is a quantification. It also does take in the considerations and justifications, of course, of the conscious beings of that planet. Now, yes, time does not exist because it is a measurement, and because there can be more measurements and more values than time itself, aka 24 hours in a day, it is possible to have an experience that could be synchronized or more to the point the accumulation factor of knowledge and discoveries within one day that can equal a sum of seven days, and you know, of course, a week. For some, it could be a month. Um, this would explain why time itself is more of the illusion rather than a reality. Of course, with the unnatural circumstances, there is no reality. We are still waiting to live back to synchronicity. The cosmic shift and the photon belt and I think it's time to incorporate what this cosmic shift is in more deep or detail. And that is, there's another existence that is taken apart, taken shape with this cosmic shift, this, the hybrid existence. There is no documentation of the hybrid existence, but according to Alan, Alex Gray's documentations, it appears he did visit a sort of phase or rift within that very existence. However, the hybrid existence is honesty and purity. The core self within is honest and pure. Not everyone can agree with this, but you, there is a commonality with everyone trying to do something good. Now, based on the limitations, we have been forced and if going along with the system, that's the end force they want, which provides for the system. So our emotions are robotic. They are not even analytically correct, mostly because we're not tuned or rather taught how to tune into frequencies, into just becoming able to detect life around us, to feel life, then to live as life for once. But 
aside from the reality, which is dissolving nearly entirely. The hybrid existence is of a sensory perception level of feeling able to feel as a spirit. We have five senses, touch, taste, you know all of them, of course. Now, hearing, there is another sense within. How is it just to hear that you can feel perhaps euphoria from an awesome trance song? Or uh, an amazing bliss within when you hear a harmonics uh, frequency video. There's plenty on YouTube. That tells us automatically that there is a living essence about us that is natural, that is within automatically, that is a part of another sense. Now, spiritualists, they speak of the fifth dimension. They do not speak any higher, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth dimension, which I've done videos on. These, exist, these dimensions exist, and they exist all, at all times. It is a realization of way. The perfect debunking realization for, or within realization, eternity exists, but it makes sense that there's an eternal depth potential within. It's a realization of way. To just know the word harmony exists it means perfect sense to live in harmony. So synchronicity along with the cosmic shift, hybrid existence, which are, there are so many details of the hybrid existence. To give you an idea of what all these details are, that would take me many videos to discuss and um, orchestrate, is that when you think of the word hybrid, you're thinking of a means of evolution that is not just compressed and expanded, but quantified in reflection values such as a prism, aka a light stream goes through it, breaks up into light. You mix that with crystalline consciousness, and you mix that with the existences that we can already see in our universe. Nebulous, galaxies, planets, stars, and of course, so much in between, so much more. You think of the hybrid existence. You think of these circumstances completely dropped. Eternity is within a breath away. Why not? Go ahead. Also, another existence is the same, and all other dimensions are the same as well. When you have the photon belt, the cosmic shift, Numero has a very interesting effect on Earth. I do not know entirely, but it does have a synchronicity value. Eternity leaves no one behind to think that, sure, yes, ETs exist, but what goes farther than ETs? A star, a planet. Would you not say that this planet would want to fight to survive? Why do we think we are so small? All of us naturally do believe this, but also we do think that we have an amazing potential. It is knowing our place and being realistic. A planet has far more potential than a human, and to think a human has the right to control a planet it means not to be alive at all, or to at least acknowledge that you're alive at all. Because the potential of the pathway does not lead to progress. The core self, we, this, this inner knowing of knowing we're doing obvious don'ts and obvious do's. Knowing that we have this instinctive, yes, gut feeling, 